This is the brainchild of Steve Corner of Flying Concrete out of San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. I have personally had only a small input in, in the development of this building. Steve works from clay models and once I'm locked in, stays pretty close to, to, the, to the model. The foundation was laid in 2008, the crew of eight led by Mark Jacoby. The North Room Studio, what Steve calls a square donut, made up of a series of catenary vaults. The stress of these is offset by the exterior buttresses, which are not only decorative, but truly functional. My wife and I, Ruth, uh, Ruth and I have been inspired by Antoni Gaudi out of Barcelona, and uh, I've always wanted something uh, that wasn't just a box. Uh, I consider that I'll be leaving in one, but I don't, leaving in a box, but I don't need to live in one. So it's uh, it's it follows nature, which is which has curves throughout. There's hardly any straight lines in nature, and so we have a building which fits in, I think, in, into the landscape. And people have said it looks like it grows right out of the ground, so it is very organic. The building has been designed to, to uh, remain for 400 years, so it doesn't have to be rebuilt again and again every, every 40 years or so. The builder said there's only three, th three things that can happen to it. One, one is uh, an earthquake could take it down. Uh, a direct lightning strike would make it make this concrete structure uh, raku, raku, <laughs> raku. Or uh, the aliens might think it's the mothership and, and attempt to take it away. <laughs> Uh, obviously, this building uh, has taken 12 years to, to create, and uh, we've, so we've had to have, we had to have numerous extensions with the uh, POA um, as far as um, building permit is concerned. Uh, probably could not be be done in any other place. It's a perfect marriage, this Watch County, and uh, because of the of the of the lax or relaxed building codes. I just love this place. Uh, it just it, it just feels very good to be here. Is there any advice that you would give to someone trying to build? Yes, yeah, start a start start young. Start young. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a, a maybe ten years younger when I decided to take on this project, but it is what it is. Um, I'm very happy with it. You definitely seem like you have uh, patience for. Well, you have you have no control over that. I mean, it's, you can't push the river with this sort of thing. You just, uh, just you can't just throw such a thing like this up. I have a friend who came from Michigan, and every, everything he builds is is uh, is is all predicated on a, a four by eight sheet of plywood and. Um, when he looked at this, he says, you know, Jeff, you did everything you could possibly do to make it difficult, didn't you? And, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, not, just, it's not just an edifice, it's a, it's a work of art. Hi, I'm Jeff Beard. I'm the owner of this magnificent structure. Come on in. Okay, this is the, the north room. It's the main room, which is about 780 square feet. It's built up of a series of catenary vaults. And uh, Steve Corner, the builder, calls it a square donut. This is his pride and joy here, this, this particular room. Yes, we, uh, my wife and I were both artists, and uh, we get here, get in here, and turn on the music, and just have, spend hours and hours in here.
walking into the next room, which is a work in progress, but this is, will be the kitchenette. Uh, we'll have a sink here. Sink right there. Sink will be here. Refrigerator over here. Convection oven. And this portal right here is, is uh, where a wood, wood stove will be facing both in two directions. Chimney going up through there. This is the south room. We're uh, in preparation for uh, putting tile work down. Uh, we've we've uh, finally decided on on this pattern here, uh, which uh, is busy, but everything else is so quiet that we felt that we need a little contrast. And this is the main bathroom in here. Yeah, we're doing so. We're just starting to lay, lay the floor down. This was largely done by Gabrielle Gusso, who's lo a local here. She does wonderful work. And we have, did some stylized mountains. And going upstairs, this is another proud moment from the builder, this stairway. This is a little, a little sitting room. We're going to put a yin yang tile tile work underneath where this where this carpet is right now. Yeah, let me get this. This is the east porch. Great place to sit in the evening, early evening. Mountains turn red, that's why they're called the Sangre, Sangre de Cristos. Upper loft, Steve calls it the upper loft. It's my solarium here. I uh, put li these little uh, it does actually does look like the night sky when the lights are out when it was dark. This is a half bath, yeah. Closet, meditation room, which just needs to be painted and tiled. This is the north deck. Are these bowling 
balls, Jeff? No, they're planets. 